Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. It's going to be a fairly short one, but I want to today answer some questions which I have been getting in the comment section about my pot roses. Obviously you guys know that I plant David Austin roses in pots and I've had a lot of success doing so, but people wanted to know what size are my pots. So, so today I am going to give you a definitive answer. The simple answer is I don't actually know myself how big they are. So I have a tape measure and we will measure the pots together. So my biggest questions that I've been asked over are these pots here. Now these are the ones that I have planted three bare root David Austin roses in one singular pot. The reason you do this is to get that big David Austin roses full effect. I made a whole video on that so do go and watch that where I planted these two up. So today we are going to measure the pots. You can see I just do a little quick scope there. So I'm going to put the camera down and just see if I can measure. Okay, so let's do this in, in now. It's going to be quite difficult because they're really prickly. I'm going to put them like this, I think, and go down. Go down this route, I think. Try and get the diameter. So this is going to be as accurate as I can possibly be with them still planted. In fact, actually, it might not work that way. I'm going to have to do it, I think. It's a lot harder to measure them than they're in. So let me see if I can... I mean, I might have to do a guesstimate. Um, okay, I'm going to kind of do a bit of a guesstimate. So, oh no, I might be able to do it actually. Okay, I've got it. There we go, quite confident. So, from rim to rim, this pot is 20 inches, which works out at uh, about 51 centimetres. The height of the pot, if I can measure from the top to the bottom, is 18 inches which is 47 centimetres. Let's now move on to my single bare root David Austin roses planted in these pots here. I would like to say um, roses do really, really well in pots. Do not be scared to plant them in pots. The only thing I would say is possibly think about changing the soil three every three to four years and also make sure in the growing season you feed them with liquid fertilizer once a week that is vitally important to the success of the roses now mine have flowered really really well even in the first year of being planted so let's get the measurements of this little beauty here so this pot should be okay so this pot should be a lot more easy to get the diameter of now, this is quite a small pot really it's 13 inches which is 34 centimetres. And the height of it, from the top all the way down to the bottom, is um, 50, about 15 inches, which is 39 centimetres. Um, obviously as well, when you are planting roses in pots, make sure that they have a drainage hole and make sure the hole is covered by some crocks or some stones or something. Next we have the rose I've got growing over the archway. This one is teasing Georgia and let's give this a measure. Right, I don't think it matters whether the pots are square, what kind of shape they are, just as long as they are literally big enough. So I think if we go from corner to corner on this one, seeing as it's square might help. So this one is 56 centimetres, which is 22 inches. And the height of it is not a very tall pot. I would say, again, about 15, 15 inches, sort of 38, 39 centimetres. And there is just the one rose in that pot. By the way, it is really, really cold at the moment here in the UK, so I've got my nice warm cardigan on. Yeah, so these roses are now um, pretty much in leaf. So everything is springing into action. And of course, I will show you updated garden tours month by month. And you can keep up with the progress of all my plants in the garden if you watch my weekly vlog, which always go out on a Monday at 7 p.m. GMT. So thank you so, so much for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit the bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye.